Welcome back right now. Let's uh, get over to Angeli Cockaday, who's live at Skagit Valley Hospital, where multiple people were taken after they were hurt in a shooting at a Walmart in Mount Vernon. Angeli. Yeah, Mimi, good morning. So we are still waiting on an update for those five people that were injured. We've been here at Skagit Valley Hospital for about five hours now since 3.30 this morning. There hasn't been a lot of action. We haven't released any police activity here, so we're still waiting from the hospital as well as police on an update on the condition of those five people. But we do know that one of those people was a 72-year-old customer along with a 24-year-old security guard. Both were injured in that shooting last night. Both were men. Both are men. Now, we also know three other Others that are injured are all 19 year olds somehow involved in the altercation that led up to the shooting last night at the Walmart. Now we know three of them were transported by medical units and two arrived on their own, although it's not exactly clear uh, which one that was, if it was the 19 year old the, or, or the customer or that employee. Now we know this whole shooting happened inside the store while customers were still inside just about an hour before uh, the store closed. One witness, Jessica Boots, telling us she was going on a date night with her fiance and stopped by the store when the shooting happened. We were by in the soda aisle getting soda pop and um, we were heading to go check out at that time and the gunshots started firing and it sounded like it was right next to us and I looked back at my fiance because he was a little bit behind me and um, everybody started screaming running through the front doors and I left my keys and everything in my car on accident and we all ran out. Now, as I said, we are waiting for an update on the condition of these people that were injured in the shooting. We have several calls to the Skagit Valley Hospital. As soon as we get more information, we will continue to bring you that throughout the day here on King 5. But for now, reporting live in Mount Vernon, Angelique Cockaday, King 5 News. Thanks, Angelie, and we continue following that breaking news in Skagit County. Now we head to the Walmart where uh, that gunfire erupted last night in Mount Vernon. King 5's Kayla Lafferty joining us now from that scene. Uh, Kayla, I know you mentioned a few moments ago the store is back open. Uh, what are police or even customers seeing this morning? Well, Shantae, yeah, the store opened up at its regular business hours about 7 a.m. Uh, and the scene, the whole parking lot was blocked off with crime scene tape up until about 4 a.m. when investigators wrapped up here at the scene and moved on. But what we know is Mount Vernon police were dispatched just before 10 p.m. Investigators say two groups of men got into an argument inside the Walmart where they started shooting at each other. Three men involved in that argument were injured. And as Angelie said, there was also a security guard who worked for the Walmart and a customer that were also injured. This was during normal business hours, about an hour before closing. Customers inside the Walmart heard those gunshots and hid, fearing for their safety. In that section of the store, there was like this big metal shelf with big boxes, and so we hid behind there. And then I called 911 to let them know where we were. Wow. And so um, at that point, all of a sudden, I mean, I've never seen so many police like you because we could see through the glass. We couldn't get out. I tried all the doors. It was all locked up. And Mount Vernon police say the shooting was, as we mentioned, between two groups of people, some sort of argument. This wasn't one of those random active shooter situations, but they ask anyone who was in the Walmart at the time of the shooting that they have not spoken to yet to come forward and contact them. Live in Mount Vernon, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.